Hi, I'm Clara from Online Fabric Store. If your ironing board is starting to show stains or burns, making a new cover is a quick and easy sewing project that will give it a fresh look. This works for most ironing boards, including tabletop and full-sized. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are cotton fabric, I'm using Premier Prints Polka Dot Storm 12, quarter inch elastic, thread, pins, scissors, a fabric marker, a safety pin, a sewing gauge, which is optional, and cotton or wool batting, which is also optional. Lay your ironing board face down on the fabric. Mark three inches out from the ironing board using a sewing gauge or ruler. When choosing a fabric, a quilting cotton is fine, or you can use a more durable cotton drapery fabric. Consider the color as well. A darker color, or at least something without a lot of white, is best for hiding stains. Then cut out the shape. If you want to add more padding, cut out batting the same size as your ironing board. You can add multiple layers if needed. Fold in the edge about a quarter of an inch, then another half inch, and pin. Continue to pin around the entire piece. This will form a channel for the elastic. At the curved edges, pin closely together to get a smooth curve. Starting in the middle of a straight side, sew close to the edge of the fold. Continue to sew around the curves. Don't worry if the curves look bumpy, you won't be able to see this later. Just make sure to keep the channel wide enough for the elastic. Stop two inches before the beginning and backstitch. Attach a safety pin to the end of the elastic and guide it through the channel. When you come out the other end, attach the safety pin to the fabric so it doesn't get pulled back in and adjust the fabric to make it looser. Fit it over the ironing board and tighten the elastic. Overlap the ends, pin them together, and take off the cover. Use a zigzag stitch to sew the elastic together. Sew back and forth a couple of times to secure it and trim the ends. Finally, sew the opening closed and the ironing board cover is done. If you're using batting, lay it on top of the ironing board before putting on the cover. By making your own ironing board cover, you'll be sure of a good fit and, compared to commercial covers, you'll have so many more choices of fabric to brighten up your laundry or sewing space. It might even make ironing a little bit more enjoyable. Thanks for watching this OFS project.